Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. Today's video is going to be absolutely bonkers. Now, the data is in and Lennar has begun their nationwide fire sale. And today what we're going to look at is I'm going to show you the absolutely incredible buying incentives that Lennar is offering right now. And then I'm going to access additional states to show you guys the fire sales, price cuts, and buying incentives are spreading rapidly across the nation. And you guys, it's only August. Kids have barely even gotten back to school. So odds are the price declines are going to continue throughout the year. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you a couple warnings on on what to look out for if you're in the market of purchasing new construction. And please, you guys, for this effort, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, shoot me a comment below, and seriously share this information because the fire sales have officially begun yet again. Lennar is actually close to being the number one new home builder. Now, one of the reasons why specifically I focus on Lennar is they generally, from what I can tell, lead price cuts. And obviously what I've been saying is this new construction leads the housing market as far as prices. So now that we're seeing these price cuts surge again across the nation, that will roll into existing home inventory. And the thing is, guys, I understand that it appears that new home builders have been doing well. Their stocks hit a 52 week high. Warren Buffett purchased a whole bunch of DR Horton stock, but maybe Warren Buffett's trying to take over DR Horton when they collapse. And the cat is starting to get out of the bag. When we look at Lennar's stock, we can see over the last month, their stock has actually been down 9%. So the market's wising up to the massive headwinds in new construction. In order to show you guys the absolutely ridiculous buying incentives that Lennar is offering right now, first I'm gonna show you the mortgage rates that they're offering, which can be 3% lower than the actual market. I'm gonna show you guys what difference that makes when we compare new construction monthly payment compared to existing home monthly payment. Y'all are probably getting more familiar with this promotion. This is an absolutely outrageous promotion, y'all. Lennar right now is offering a 4.25% fixed rate plus an additional $10,000 towards closing costs. They just extended this again to the end of August, but odds are you guys are gonna continue outrageous programs like this. And I wanna point out in order to buy a rate down like that, that can cost 40, 50, 60,000 dollars. That's why existing homes can't compete. And that's why mortgage lenders can't compete with Lennar. Mortgage lenders can't offer a four and a quarter. Mortgage lenders don't make that much money per loan. Lennar can get away with this because they have so much money built into the actual home. Take a look here on exactly how much lower your payment would be. So I'm only going to start out with a $360,000 loan and I'm putting the four and a quarter percent rate that Lennar is offering. That puts your payment at $1,771. But watch what happens when I change this to a 7.25. It goes from $1,771 all the way to $2,000. $456, which represents a $685 difference per month in your mortgage, or rather that's how much money you would be saving each month in just interest. So that buying incentive right now, you guys, is legitimately shockingly amazing, actually. If only the quality of construction is proven legitimate, probably more and more people would be purchasing new homes on top of obviously the price decline. Now let me show you guys what exactly is going on around the nation. And I'm gonna include different states that we haven't gone over yet, including Indiana, Georgia, Tennessee, Minnesota, and Virginia. These are states that I haven't showed you yet that have recently started doing price cuts on essentially all of their inventory. Let's take a look now. Starting with Indiana, you guys can see left the price cuts. Now, according to Lennar's website, there's 136 homes available in 39 different communities in this area. And I also wanna point out that this is just one new home builder. Usually Lennar builds in huge subdivisions that have many new home builders. But take a look to the left of me, you guys. The first property here represents a, a roughly $25,000 reduction in price. Now I know it's still overvalued in a lot of people's minds, 
but at least it is a start. And remember, we still have another four months to go this year. Here's another price cut, beautiful price cut, you guys. $40,000 price cut right here. Here's another one right here. I mean, you guys could really see, here's the home of the week. You guys can really see that they are slashing their prices like crazy in Indiana. And these are pretty decent price cuts. So when you add stuff like this, guys, if you can purchase a home with wedge and also cash flow, and it's cheaper than your rent, a lot of times it might be a good idea. I'm saying it might be a good idea to put more research in just to see if it's really a great idea. This is really, really shocking how fast that this is spreading. This is spreading like crazy. Look at it. You guys, it's not ending. More price cuts. It's not stopping. They need to sell these houses. And the thing is, guys, remember, new home builders are forced to sell their houses. People like Chavis, where's the forced selling going to come from? Every single new home inventory must sell despite the conditions of the market. So the worse the conditions of the market, the more pressures on these new home builders to drop prices and offer even crazier buying incentives. Here's Georgia. According to Lennar, there's only 21 available houses. But again, I would check these areas out right here. More than likely, they're in subdivisions that have many new home builders. But look at to the left of me, starting with the first house, y'all. That's a 40 thousand dollar price cut that is a substantial price cut and when we scroll down another price cut right here and you guys i'm trying to tell you this is recent and more than likely this will spread just like last year around the nation i plan on flying to different areas around the nation to bring you guys boots on the ground data to show you guys these price cuts are true but again look at to the left of me these price cuts are outrageous here's another one at twenty thousand dollars another twenty thousand dollars this one's not price cut the cool thing is, is they're cutting prices on homes that are also under construction this one here is thirty thousand so the price cuts in georgia are anywhere from twenty to thirty thousand dollars now let me show you guys tennessee according to lennar there's about 62 available homes in tennessee around eight different communities and starting with the home of the week you guys can see here that this has been price cut almost $40,000, about $38,000 to be exact. I'm trying to do the math in my head and keep this going and not even stutter when I'm talking. So I'm doing the best that I can. And I always try to round up in my math if I'm doing it in my head. Now, when I scroll down here, you guys can see that Tennessee is cutting homes, but not as much as some of the areas we just cover. Here's another one right here, only about $10,000. But when we scroll down, we can, we can find more homes with decent price cuts. The one to the left of me is a $41,000 price cut in the Tennessee area. And when I scroll down even more, here's another one right here, y'all. This represents approximately $31,000 price cut. So you got to kind of look. Here's another one. This is a big one right here, you guys, at about $66,000 price cut right here. Under that's a little small one at about $6,000. But how refreshing is it to see these price cuts spreading around the nation. And last but definitely not least, take a look at Minnesota. Now there's about 300 homes available in the Minnesota area and about 46 different communities. So a ton of new home building in the Minneapolis area. You guys can see all of the homes in this area. Now the first home here, you guys can see there is not a price cut, but when we investigate a little bit further and we scroll down, we can start finding pretty substantial price cuts. The first one right here being about $24,000. The second one being about $36,000. This one $18,000. But again, if you guys do enough research, you guys can find the same thing. Now look at this guys. Here's the home of the week price cut right here, roughly $90,000. Dollars. I absolutely love it. Now, if you guys want to do even more research, you guys can click the you know community tab right here. If you've been following along on my channel, you know that I constantly warn you guys, be careful and make sure that these price cuts are truly price cuts. The way that you guys should do that is contact a realtor unless you're a realtor yourself and do a market analysis on the subject properties subdivision. In other words, see what other homes of the similar model or the exact same model are selling for. And also, you guys, let me show you another trick. I've logged into my active MLS through Matrix. So this allows me to really review sold property really anywhere I want. These are various communities right here. Like here's Tavola right here. Here's the Highlands right here. So we know that this area right here is doing legitimate price cuts under 2022 values, getting close into 2021. And we also know this new home building community over here is known for doing misleading price cuts. And let me show you guys another strategy on top of a market analysis 
that you should be doing. And I got 69 listings in the Highlands. And again, 69 listings in the Highlands. And when I go to the price per square foot here, I mean, this first one is actually, this first one's really crazy. This is a huge surprise, actually. $78 a square foot. I don't know why it's like that. This is in the Highlands. I'm gonna take a look at that. That's that's really astonishing to me. But anyways, you guys, look at these red arrows. These are all the price cuts right here. So basically, you guys, you wanna pick a property that has a price cut, and I'm gonna show you guys kinda of how to look at the last listing. So this first house right here represents a price cut of approximately almost $32,000, which is actually pretty decent. I'm actually surprised that this is here. Now, what I wanna do on top of a market analysis, if I wanna quickly see if this is a true price cut, one of the things I could do is go to Property Archive to see how they've been listing the properties. Very good information to have, actually. So when I go here, it tells me how many times this is listed and at what price. And I could pretty much tell you guys that this is a legitimate price cut because they listed this property originally for $401,000, and that was back in February. Now, here's my case in point. You guys can see that they did try a little bit of a trick because literally the same day that they listed the property, they showed a price cut. Do y'all see that? So they cut it down approximately almost $7,000 the first day. And it's stuff like that that I'm trying to tell you guys. So the 395 price cut was not true. And look at what else they did. Then they rose the price to 400000 Now, why would they raise the prices, you guys, to make it appear like that community is doing well, but they weren't able to even sell the house. So they reduced prices again to 390, then to 380, then to 375, and now it's being sold for $370,000. So that's a more legitimate price cut when we just look at the past listing prices. Now, a couple other things I want to remind you if you're out there trying to purchase new construction. Now, this is just my opinion. Remember that I don't want to get in trouble with anyone, but the number one thing that I would suggest you do is never purchase new construction without proper representation. You guys, they have a monopoly on the transaction per se. They control the title company, the lender company, the actual building of it. They don't require you even do an inspection. So again, have proper representation. Generally, you don't even have to pay for your realtor and your realtor should be fighting for you. Not all realtors are created the same, but they should be fighting for you. So definitely make sure to bring representation. Now, the second thing, guys, is make sure to do many different inspections at every level of the construction phase. Inspections is the name of the game. Now, number three, you're always going to want to make sure that any deficiencies in constructions or anything that you want repaired is completed before you close. Very important to understand that. And also something important to understand is generally new home builders put a special provision in the deed, the special warranty deed, essentially requiring that if you purchase from them, you cannot sue them. You must go to arbitration. So there's a lot of crazy things in new homes. It's not just a slam dunk, even though we do have crazy incentives. And another thing, you guys, review the area. Some of the reviews that we're getting for new homes right now are absolutely despicable. So make sure you guys do enough due diligence to make sure that the investment of your life is the right one. Now, other than that, guys, I really hope you guys got some new insights, value, and perspective. And if you're out there investing in real estate, you know I wish you luck, and I hope you win.